What can you do in your own life to make better wealth decisions? And what exactly do you think about when you make those decisions? To make better wealth decisions, a podcast that explores how financial advisors' blind spots can harm your investments. I'm your host, John DeGuy, a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. In this podcast, we'll provide advice on how you can achieve better outcomes by maximizing investments and minimizing taxes. Let's put our thinking caps on as we consciously decide to get smarter about our money. Earlier this week, we had a conversation with Joy Leary from Shaping Wealth. And Joy is a world-renowned expert in social psychology and helping people make financial decisions and helping people to think about how they think about financial decisions. One of the things that has always struck me about financial decision-making and and decision-making in general is the notion that people have a lot more scope than they will oftentimes give themselves credit for. There are a lot of things that you don't absolutely positively have to do. And a lot of people spend a lot of their time anxiously fretting over things they have no control over whatsoever. This reminds me of a book that I uh, was using as a resource in graduate school. Here it is. It's called Choices for the Manager from Rosemary Stewart. Rosemary Stewart is a British academic and consultant. And one of the things that she is known for is pioneering the notion of circle of influence and circle of concern. A lot of people are concerned about a lot of things and it doesn't make a lick of difference in how their life is going to play out. For instance, a lot of people are worried right now or thinking about what might happen in the U.S. election in three or four weeks' time. Well, you can worry about it, but it's not going to make any difference because whatever's going to happen is going to happen whether you worry about it or not. More importantly, what you should be doing is thinking about, okay, what's my game plan? How will I react and what should I be doing if A happens and how well, how will I react and what should I be doing if D happens or C? Think about the various alternatives, have a game plan in place and make a conscious, concerted decision based on the best available information, knowing that no one will know everything and that there are always going to be changes that will come along on the horizon that no one foresaw so that you're flexible enough, but still pur- purposeful by being focused on your long-term goals. One of the things that Stephen Cookie talks about is decision-making is more like a compass than it is like a map. A compass points you in a general direction. We're heading northeast, let's say. And a compass will say we're heading northeast. And it doesn't say whether there will be a road or not and whether there will be a tree down on the road or whether there will be a river that you have to cross or not. It just says this is the direction you're going as opposed to, say, a map. People are waiting for a map to help them make decisions. So you go this far and then you turn here and you look for this marker and then you turn somewhere else and then you proceed until you get to this other uh, landmark. No, 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 no. Very few decisions in life are made with that kind of certitude. What you need to do is to be able to have principles that will guide you so that you can make informed decisions but purposeful decisions, strategic decisions that are based on a worldview that is consistent to you, that that you are fully aware of and that you're in agreement with so that you can act in a way that is in accordance with those principles without having to worry about knee-jerk reactions or the fad du jour or, frankly, with whatever what everyone else is doing. You can make your own decisions for your own reasons on your own terms. That is the sort of thing that helps anyone in life, not just in their financial decision-making, but in all manners of decisions. John DeGuy is a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. The views expressed in this program are not to be construed as specific advice. It is recommended that you consult a qualified advisor before taking action. His books, The Professional Financial Advisor 4, Stand Up to the Financial Services Industry and Bullshift are available through Amazon and in bookstores throughout Canada. You can reach John at 647-STAND-UP. That's 647-782-6387 or at jdegui at designedsecurities.ca.